The main gallery exhibition in most space is related to the Seawall project I initiated at the cultural center of the Philippines for an exhibition where I thought of getting the waste from Manila Bay and use it to reinforce as a seawall for when a typhoon comes. It triggered this idea, the more we consume plastic, the more it will block the majestic view of the sunset. The seawall would gradually fill up, expand, and rise like piles of modular black buy-in boxes made out of metal wire mesh. Even as we want to enjoy the sunset at Manila Bay by putting more establishment in the area and mishandling the water waste and plastic, it seems like human is always a threat to nature. We want to appreciate and yet we blindly destroy. The work Growing Sound was a result of an incident when I got back from an artist residency. The mango tree in my studio grew so much that it bore too many fruits and it started falling on the roof, causing damage that created leaks. I had to cut off the branches and it quickly filled up the entire sidewalk in front of the house. The garbage collector didn't want to get the branches and the leaves unless it was put in plastic bags. It's absurd how I wanted to declutter but needed a considerable amount of plastic bags in order to do so only for me to create more waste using plastic. It was an endless cycle. I'm thinking of how far I can go to recycle every plastic waste inside my studio. It has been two years. During the lockdown, I finally had the time to work on the plastic I've accumulated and thought of using it for indoor planting. I also noticed that there is no soil in my studio. Everything outside was cemented. So I decided to make planters using the plastic and cemented. I needed to learn how to plant too. So I took inspiration from people who are full-time professionals yet still found time to grow plants. Ultimately, I wanted to learn from them by asking them to participate in the exhibition to plant and hopefully help propagate more plants and share their knowledge.